Hello everyone, Olga Media with Laura Turner. She cares so much about sustainability, our planet. She loves people, she likes her non-profit organizations. She does amazing work for the community here at Festival Globe. What brought you down here? So I, I, what brought me is the exciting films that were screened and then there was a symposium that I took part in, uh, The Future of Food. Uh, the panel happened yesterday and then the award ceremony at Dr. Jopra's house uh, that has just been fantastic. And then we are in a parade tomorrow. So it's like the, the last day of the festival and uh, it's gonna be a big celebration. All right, so what bringing you to wonderful um, sustainability efforts? So, um, well, the reason why I'm here is, uh, one of the reasons is because I was on a panel uh, called The Future of Food and I was here to talk about the importance of school gardens uh, we have funded, uh, through our foundation, about a thousand of them in the U.S. And um, we are looking to launch our school garden program in L.A. Uh, in just a few weeks um, with the L.A. Unified School District. Uh, we also have gardens in Ventura and Santa Barbara County. Um, so we hope that we can have some uh, help with school gardens up here in the Bay Area as well. Uh, uh, it's really important that kids are empowered with their own health and nutrition, and they do that by planting and eating the food that they grow. They get super excited. It's so interesting. I, when I left California, and I said, I'm never ever coming back because nobody speaks Russian, and it's, I don't have any friends. And I went to visit my mom, who let me dig potatoes, and I said, I'm so out of here. I'm not digging potatoes anymore, and here I am talking. Uh, that how important is it? Right. Like, it's made you stronger for sure. Uh, that is for sure. And I know how to say a couple of Russian okay. words. Da, da, and yet. Yes, yes, yes and, and no. Spasiba. And that's important <laughs> words you're doing. <laughs> but uh, I've been to Russia. We actually, uh, uh, we started in St. Petersburg and traveled the Volga River to Moscow. Yeah. On the it was just so beautiful. It was like going back in time, and the beautiful churches with the onion domes. And you, you come from a, a beautiful, beautiful country. I, I know that uh, you can't wait to get back. And, and yeah, visit. I'm going there soon. Actually, in a couple of months. So if you want to join me, I will be your personal tour guide. Oh well, thank <laughs> you. I want to go back. Not for the winter, though. No, before, yeah, I don't want, I'm too spoiled myself right. uh, in California, in Silicon Valley. I'm spoiled here, so I want to go maybe October. It's still good. End of October could be snowing. So I don't know about you. Do you love snow? Well, I'm, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, the southeastern United States, and it's warm uh, there. So I've become, I, I've adapted to that. So I, I, I can go snow skiing, but... I don't know. Russia in the winter is uh, 20 degrees below zero. is a little tough and, and lower, too. Right. So it gets very cold. I can give you a secret. If it's below 40, zero degrees, then you don't go to the school. So I was happy. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> and I didn't need to dig potatoes, but I do like fresh uh, fruit and vegetables, and it's a good idea. How did you come up with these ideas? Because you look so wonderful. Oh, thank you so much. You're so sweet. Well, my father found, founded the foundation uh, 25 years ago, Captain Planet Foundation, and that is, uh, we give small grants to teachers, educators, um, around the country and 29 other countries for hands-on environmental projects. And, and uh, so I'm very passionate about, uh, you know, uh, the fact that, te that children learn about their environment and learn to be good stewards of, of the resources that we have here. So, you know, make sure that they have clean water, clean air, healthy food, uh, toxic 
free uh, products and food. It's really, it's critical. And then to engage the children and to teach them um, the importance of, of making sure that we have a livable planet. So who was your hero through your life? Well, Martin Luther King, because I grew up in Atlanta, and uh, he obviously is the founder of the human and civil rights movement in the U.S. And um, so, you know, that was our backyard, and my father was in, in the media and made several documentaries about Martin Luther King. And so um, he's, he's one of them, and a lot of what's going on with the environment um, affects the, the least of these, the poor in our communities the worst, the hardest. And, um, you know, climate change is one of those things that really affects the, the poorest first. Mm -hmm. um, women who, in developing countries, raise, you know, up to 70% of the agriculture are having to plant the plants mm -hmm. not once or twice, mm -hmm. but they plant the crops three and four times because of the weather extremes. So, you know, um, my dad obviously is my hero. Uh, he has been very dedicated his whole life to the mission of the UN mm -hmm. and, um, and now with the launch of the 17, 17 Sustainable Development Goals, uh, there's a lot to talk about and there's a lot to work towards. So, um, you know, our family is uh, very um, proud of that plan, the global plan to help humanity and uh, we're backing it 110%. So how do you make successful documentaries and become so famous like you and your father? Well, you know, first of all, dad started CNN and he had a company called Turner Broadcasting and he always uh, supported filmmakers um, that made films that uh, were about social impact and the environment. and. Um, and, and so we grew up as children learning about it from a very young age, what was important in the world and issues of, of, of importance. Um, so, you know, that's what you want to do. You want to ed educate your children so they grow up uh, with the knowledge and empathy mm -hmm. to, uh, to make the world a better place. And I think that my dad was a very good father and, um, you know, not only did he in impact our lives, uh, and now his grandchildren's lives, but lives of millions and millions of people around the globe. He's been a, been a real inspiration. Yes, because we all have better lives because of your hard work and your father and your family. That's definitely appreciated. Thank you so much. And uh, what would you be future goals if you would like to share? My uh, future goals would be that an every school would have a school garden and then every child could plant in a garden and eat healthy nutritious vegetables so if we can do that um, i think that uh, that would be a, a game changer because um, you know everything good comes from a garden you know our pollinators the creatures that share the planet um, everything that we need to sustain them ourselves so, you know, children can also teach their parents and grandparents the importance of taking care of the earth, the soil, the, the air, the water, the food. And, um, you know, it's, you start with the simple things, right? Right. And then what would be your wishes then for the whole globe? Oh, well, for the whole globe, um, well, that we achieve uh, and, and meet the 17 sustainable development goals. And, it's interesting because number five is all about gender equity, empowering women and girls, and stopping violence, gender violence. And women and girls are at the heart of all the rest of the goals. So, you know, if we can, uh, if we can focus on how to work government and business and civil society, um, nonprofits to, to find the solutions and, uh, uh, make sure that everybody has health care, everybody has food, that we grow, have sustainable cities, that we save our oceans and save our forests and provide clean, affordable energy for all. You know, I, I think, I think uh, our children are going to be and our grandchildren are going to be very grateful. Otherwise, they're going to hold us in accountable and, um, and, and, and they can't possibly be happy with us about some of the mess that we're leaving for them to clean up. So. Um, you know, many hands make light work, as my grandmother said, so we all have to educate one another and, and do our part.
Wow, what a great message. And of course, uh, what do you think about Festival of Globe? This is your first time here, I assume. My first time and not my last. The films that have been screened have been awesome. Obviously, the symposium that is new this year, which I uh, participated in, um, was fabulous. There were great speakers. Uh, tomorrow, we have the parade. I'm even going to wear a sari uh, in the parade, which I'm super excited about. And then tonight at Dr. Jopra's house, it was like a dream, you know, with the awards ceremony and, um, and, and the great Indian food that we enjoyed uh, this evening. That was big. Yes. I know Roger Royce was moderator. He was at my radio show and I uh, interviewed him before he did agricultural conferences and start up an international trade show. It's a very small world. So, and now I meet you and he was moderator at that uh, panel discussion. So isn't it small world really? He did a great job. And you do a great job. Oh, and thank, thank you. you. <laughs> we have to really um, love on the media because, you know, y'all, you have a hard job to do, and uh, there are many obstacles, and we need the truth to be told and the good stories and the positive stories, not just like what we're seeing on, uh, on the news, on television now. And it's, you know, it's all about the presidential race and the only way something else gets put on is if there's a mass shooting or a bombing someplace. Right. And that's not the way it should be. Yeah. Where a lot of important things and issues are just, you know, falling through the cracks and yeah. I'm not the actually journalist, I was a scientist, immunology and microbiology, but then somebody needed Russian speaking, they were looking for two years, Russian speaking media, so they chose me. I was the first one and only one, and then Indian community bought that shows, and here I am working with Indian community, and also Russian community, and of course, learning on the spot, and as a scientist I know, give me the facts, what you feel, not what media would say you feel like, mm -hmm. or think like, or whatever. Right. So it's very important to deliver your message. Well, they picked the right one. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. You're amazing, <laughs> well, and I have love the jewelry your mom makes. It's yeah. just so beautiful, you're wearing yeah, the earrings. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. mom's hearing, and she's a teacher, and the message you're delivering, like have the gardens, plant the seeds, good seeds, save the planet, you like got into her heart. So Aww. it's amazing how you guys all connected here. So I'm just happy to finally meet you. I heard so much about you, and I'm glad uh, that I finally made it happen and deliver your message to the rest of the world. So let's make our planet better now, and that's the message I hear from you. That's right. Thank you, Olga. Thank you, Keep Laura. Keep up the great work. Okay, thank you.